Welcome back real estate professionals. Thank you so much for joining us here again today on our YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over how to upload a video to YouTube and apply best practices to make sure that it's appealing to both buyers and sellers and give you some tips and ideas on what videos you can create and upload right now. Let's get started. Okay, real estate professionals, now we're going to go step by step on how to get information off the media device of your choice, whether in my case, it would be a DSLR camera, or maybe you're using your smartphone, because let's be honest, smartphone video quality has come a long way in the last few years, and they take incredible videos. Regardless of the media device of your choice, to get the information off of the device and onto your computer so you can edit it, or if you're like our leader Ted, you have a ready, fire, aim approach, then you can upload it directly to YouTube, uh, and that's what we're gonna be doing here today. We're gonna assume that either you've already edited the photo or video, uh, or you're happy with the quality of the video and you wanna upload it directly to YouTube. So let's get started. First step is to open up your File Explorer folder. Now on Mac or PC, the process should be the same. You'll want to find the proper drive, for me, it's drive G. And you're gonna to wanna to take the file, photo or video, and you're gonna to wanna to drag it to your desired folder. For me, I'd like to put it in my Union Street Media folder. Okay, now, one thing that you can do if you have the Ready, Fire, Aim approach is you can actually drag that file directly into the drop area of YouTube and upload the file uh, directly. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do that later in the video, but I'm going to assume that you wanted to edit the video. And okay, so the next step is to go to youtube.com. And the first thing that you'll wanna do when you go to youtube.com is make sure that you're signed in. As you can see, we are here. Now, if you're not, just click sign in once you hit this drop down menu and log into your account. And then once you're logged in, the next thing that you wanna do is find the YouTube Studio icon in the drop down. Once you're on the YouTube Studio page, in the top almost center of the screen, there's an upload video icon. Click that. Now this is where you can drag and drop files from your computer or hit select file and find the designated file that you want in your Explorer. All right, so now we're waiting for the video to upload. We're gonna work on our thumbnail. Now the website that I like to use to create a solid thumbnail is going to be Canvana.com. The reason I like Canvana is because it is a 100% free software that makes it easy to create eye-catching thumbnails and get your clients more engaged. Canvana, it's gonna prompt you to sign up. Once signed up, you can hit create a design, custom dimensions, and we wanna put in 1920, by 1080, as that is the preferred height for YouTube. Now, if you haven't taken a photo to use as a thumbnail, one thing that you can do is take a screenshot within the video and use that. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Go back to your Explorer. Locate the video. Perfect. So now that we found the thumbnail that best depicts what content you can expect in the video, we are going to hit Windows Shift S or Command Shift 4 on Mac, then click and hold the left mouse key and drag it across the image to take a screenshot. Now keep in mind that it's going to be a 1920 by 1080 format, so you want it to be wider than it is long. Now that you've captured a screenshot of the picture that you want to use for your thumbnail, go back to Explorer and find the location in which you saved it. For me, it's webcam capture, and then drag it onto the canvas. Now you can stretch the image, 
to fit the 9 tw 9 tw uh, to fit the 1920 by 1080 resolution and then add a basic element like a shape change the color add text center it and then download it in the top right and make sure to change it from PNG to JPEG now we can go back to the video upload for YouTube and drag the image up into the thumbnail section now the importance of thumbnails boils down to the fact that not all video views will come from direct searches. Videos may appear in recommended lists or even on autoplay after other videos. Regardless of how your video appears to potential viewers, having an eye-catching thumbnail will entice users to click on your video opposed to having other videos on the page. YouTube will automatically generate a thumbnail for your video, however we recommend creating a thumbnail and uploading it separately. That way, you have control over what you are presenting to the world using a program such as Photoshop or Canvana like I showed you, or even creating it in a slideshow and saving it as a JPG allows you to add text to the image such as the title of the video. In our case, we are showing how to upload a real estate video to YouTube and apply best practices, so we'll be using that in the title's description. Once you have a click-worthy title, you will want to make sure you fill out the description box for the video. In addition to the summary of the video, you should always include links to your website as a minimum. We recommend adding links to relevant resources found on your website. For example, this video is about how to upload a video about real estate to YouTube. So the description may look as follows. In this video, we discuss tips for uploading real estate videos to YouTube. You can find additional resources on the Unistream Media blog, and here's a hyperlink to that website. Next, you want to select a playlist that you'd like to add the video to. Now, this is considered a Quick Bits in our playlist series, so we're going to select Quick Bits and then hit Done. Now, this video is not specifically for kids' audiences, so we'll select No, it is not made for kids. Now, you're going to want to click More Options and then add tags to the video to make it easier for people to find them. Tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled, otherwise tags play a minimal role in helping viewers find your videos. Then you want to hit next in the bottom right. Now, if your video is long enough, it'll prompt you to add an end card, but we can skip that for now. Lastly, you want to set the video as public unless you want it as unlisted in which only people with the link can view it. In this case, we want it public. The final step is to hit publish and wait for those comments to roll in. So we just learned a little bit about how to create a video on YouTube and create good SEO for buyers and sellers, but that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to creating good video content for your buyers and sellers. We're gonna be creating more videos about camera equipment that you can use, Matterports, and so much more so you can communicate with your buyers and sellers in times like these. And if that's something you're interested in or you like this video and you want more content like this, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I look forward to learning with you in the future.